All right, welcome to ATN News. We got a few earthquakes in Hawaii. This is a 2.6, 0, 0 0.0 miles deep, right at the surface, right around the Helena Fault system, the slump. Anyway, we got activity out here. These are in the chambers. That one, these two here are closer to the surface, like three miles from the chambers. And that one's about a mile from the chambers. And so we got to look at these and look how deep they are to know exactly what's going on. We know these up here ain't in the chambers. They're on Kilauea Volcano next to that. But anyway, Alaska. Not much going on in Alaska except for on the west side of Anchorage. Got quite a bit going on over there. Just got five earthquakes and the biggest is a 3.8, 0, 0 0.0 miles deep. Notice how smaller of a circle this is than this one. But this one here is a 3.2, 65.5 miles deep. 63.5 my mistake but anyway let's move on down here and check out check out what's going on here nothing around the volcanoes nothing Yellowstone nothing up toward the north Oregon Washington Idaho not even a small quake so that shows us something is moving in one way got several different ways that it shows you now these down here is very small quakes, but it shows that there's something moving. And this valley down through here, I'm, the way I see it, I can see a fault going right down toward Las Vegas. But over this way, Rock Valley Fault Zone. And we got the desert here. And, you know, this, this is a bad area for a large quake down south. We've already had one down there here a while back. But anyway, it's scattered out as we go down. Everything's still going down to San Jacinto. That's a 2.7 north of Warner Springs, California. 2.2, 2.7. And I'd have to zoom down there to see that. 13.7 miles deep, California. Oklahoma, 3.0. 0 0.8 miles deep, close to the surface, around on the new major seismic zone, 1.9 west-northwest of Ridgely, Tennessee. We knew there's activity coming across, but this is not big enough for it to come on across. You know, we should still see some activity over here. Bigger than this, this is just a 1.9. Now let's go check out what Canada is reporting, and we just got the Swarm at southeast of McCarthy, Alaska, 2.8, 2.9. So that's probably causing aftershocks, not really a swarm. It's aftershocks, just like over here in Oklahoma. We have one quake down below the other quakes. But when I check into it, they, all except for the one down below it in Oklahoma, that big swarm we was having of fours, yeah, we had a, you know, four, some, one showed 4.5, the other showed 4.3, and they downgraded it to a 4.1, I think, Oklahoma, but anyway, we, well, we had, I know what it was, we had a 4.1 after that, after we had all these small quakes, aftershocks, it was trying to go back up, it was more like a four shock, but it, it didn't go back up past the 4.1, it's hard to keep up with this stuff. All right, here's the 2.5s and greater. We just looked at over here in North America and got this one in Hawaii we looked at. All right, now we got a 5.0, 6.2 miles deep around the Tonga region, 4.5, 308.8 miles deep. We're expecting a larger quake and yesterday, Last night, I could see it moving, moving out. Okay, we should be on the move now for sure. So, three to five days, we should see a 
upper 6 to a 7 plus, maybe even an upper 7. Now here's the vulnerable point right now, the weak spot. This area here where the Pacific Plate is pushing up against it. North America is pushing up the Pacific Plate. Mid-Atlantic Ridge is pushing on it. This whole plate is pushing northwest. And it's pushing the Pacific Plate. And over here is going northwest. So it's trying to push it on over, but it's jamming everything up. We can expect a bigger quake, and it most likely it'll hit in this area, but it may move on. Or there's another scenario. It could come on down through here, and it could fork off and go to a different direction. And when we know that it's been on the move long enough, we know it's not going to fork off. So it's, this has not happened by tomorrow down through here. It should move on over to where we're looking at in this region somewhere right through here i just can't tell exactly yet but be prepared just in case if it hits your area that's the main thing is we do know it's coming and we got a tsunami station in event mode around the coral sea north east northeast of townsville and that is northeast of australia and that is the core C1. Alright, with this in event mode. And then we got these here. Here's the event. You can see these shaking before the event. And then it's going on over. So right here is where it was climbing. And it was shaking. Over here's your meters. Each meter is a little over three feet. So it's not too high. But what caused it? Was it a plate shift? You know, it looks more like an earthquake or something to me. Something to me, and all we had over here was a 5.0, 6.2 miles deep, and these are fours, and they are real deep. So you know, it won't work. You know, that wouldn't cause. But these are real deep, so we're looking for a seven plus earthquake. And like I said, let's just watch this region. And on the temperatures, Australia, that's still the hottest place on Earth. It goes up to like 115 in certain spots. And the coldest place on Earth goes up to like 160, I mean, uh, 164 below zero up in Russia. So that is really, really cold. Those 63. I think it goes up to 64. Minus 64. Nowhere here where we're at. Minus 16 coming right down through here. Coming from Canada. And, you know, that is very cold. I know all my water lines is going to be busted and nothing I can do about it. But just got to deal with it right now. We're 23. This is where we're located. Southern West Virginia. The mountain state. But up in here, let me take you on down here. Nebraska, six, minus 16. Iowa, minus 14. Minus 6. Kansas City. Columbia, minus 3. St. Louis, 4 degrees. Springfield, minus 2. That This is some really cold temperatures. Chicago, minus 12. 13 around there. Minus 9 in, around Chicago. But Rockford and South Bend is colder. And we got this coming across. It's a patch, so this may move on down. We're looking for really cold temperatures down here, but I really feel sorry for the people up here. This is really bad. That's just too cold. I don't know how you take it. I really don't. I thought about moving to Alaska one time. I'm glad I didn't. I believe I'll stay where I'm at. Alright, I'll see you on the next updates. And, you know, like usual, I forget. Australia, tropical disturbance. Northern part of Australia, tropical disturbance. Northeast from Australia, out in the Indian Ocean. And this one here, this cyclone was 105 mile per hour right now. And it goes up to 75 
85 and then they say and it's going down to 75 but still watch because the way this is going it looks like it's either going to curve up here or curve back around maybe so we got to keep an eye on that stuff too all right i'll see you next time everybody stay safe and we'll be watching